Hello, my name is John Cleveland representing Power Up Lubricants. What I'm going to be demonstrating for you today is the superior lubricating qualities of Power Up. We're going to be demonstrating different uh, motor oils. Uh, we're going to demonstrate uh, Slick 50 and uh, we're going to show you the comparison uh, under heat pressure and contamination how our products work. And what we're going to be demonstrating it with is a what we call a modified version of the OK Timken load test. When I say modified is this test machine was actually developed for testing the film strength of grease, different greases. We've added an oil cup here to where we can actually create a bath where we can put a film of oil on this Timken race and what we've got loaded in this holder here is a Timken roller bearing. Now this Timken roller bearing has got a similar hardness of a, of a wheel bearing or any bearing assembly in type inside of a piece of equipment. So it's case hardened to about 58 C on the Rockwell scale. We've got a Timken roller race here that's got a Timken hardness uh, around a 61 or 62. We've got a three and a half inch holder and a 10 inch fulcrum here. So every time we put a one pound weight on this race, we're gonna be creating 35 pounds of pressure per square inch. But because we're not running on a square inch, which is you know, about half the size of a golf ball, we're running on a very, very small pinhead. And the engineers back at our laboratory tell me that every one pound weight on a new surface on that bearing is 7,500 pounds because we're running on just smaller than a pinhead on that roller bearing. Now what I'm gonna do before we start this test is I'm gonna do what we call a dry run. We're gonna see where this bearing's gonna fail without any lubricant or oil added whatsoever. So I'm gonna load the bearing holder on there. We're gonna turn the machine on. We've also equipped this with an amp meter. As we put more and more load on here, we're adding more and more pressure against this electric motor, which is going to cause that needle to move up, okay? And so we can also see how well the lubricants that we're going to test today save energy. I'm going to turn the machine on. I'm going to grab some weights. And we've got that thing seized up. Let's give it four weights. You see these metals have actually welded together. That's how hot that bearing got. And I'm gonna have to break that with my thumb there. And I'm gonna show you the wear scar. Okay. Now what we're going to do is turn that bearing to a new spot. Okay, the second step in our demonstration is going to be a run with oil. We've got this cup that we're going to place on here. And we're going to select Mobile One, which is a synthetic oil. Probably the most popular synthetic oil on the market. We'll turn the machine on. And now we got enough oil where you can see that there's a good bead of oil running on top of the race. We're going to turn our bearing to a new spot, which we've done. Now, anything over four weights, we're going to contribute to the strength of the Mobile One. Six weights. Also, I want you to notice where we peak out at on the amp meter. Now let's look at the wear scar. As you'll note, the wear scar is about 20%, 25% less than the scar on the dry run. 
Now what we're going to do in step three is add a popular additive. One of the most popular additives on the market is Slick 50. I believe the recommended ratio is one quart to every five or six quarts, but I'm going to put in 50 percent just to give Slick 50 the benefit of the doubt. We're going to fill that thing up and put about 50-50, 50 percent -50, mobile one, and we've got 50 percent Slick 50 in there right now. Now we're going to take these six weights off. Any improvement over six weights, we're going to attribute to the Slick 50. Let's turn our bearing again to a new spot. We've got a clear hanger. Grab us some weight. Seven. Slick 50 actually added one weight extra over mobile one. Also, let's take a look at where our amp meter is peaking out once we seized up. Okay, that concludes our test with the additive. Okay, now we're going to do our run with power up. I'm going to discard the mobile one and the Slick 50, and we're just going to use a good grade oil put out by a reputable manufacturer. I'm selecting um, Haveline 10W40. And we're going to add a little bit of power up. Now power up is 100% petroleum based oil fortifier that combines the finest components put together in an added package that modern technology can provide. Let's add some power up in and see what happens. The amp meter is running at just over five amps, okay? Okay, we're going to put the bearing back on. I want you to listen to the difference. What's happened there is you heard a little metal metal contact, but it's smoothed right out. The boundary lubrication in Power Up Lubricants actually works under severe loads and severe pressures. We're actually running under what we call hydrodynamic lubrication, where those two metal surfaces are hydroplaning across a thin film of oil. Now, as we continue to add more and more weight, once we start coming into contact with metal, we call that boundary lubrication. I also want you to get a tight up, close up on the amp meter and notice that at seven weights, the, amp, the needle hasn't moved one bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is continue to add more weight. Now we've got over 14 weights on here, exactly.